Uber is one of the world's most disruptive companies. The ride-sharing service this month celebrates its seventh anniversary. That's right, seven years. Since 2009, its growth has exploded. Uber has more than 160,000 drivers in nearly 400 cities. The company is valued at upwards of $60 billion. Co-founder Travis Kalanick is now focused on the road ahead. We had a wide-ranging conversation and explored what drives his ingenuity. You have developed this at least profile of a young man in a hurry. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, look, uh, you know, I... With I've, all the rough elbows that uh, suggest. You know, I think it's... Imp if... How should I put it? Um, we look at all of the cities and the hundreds of millions or billions of people that live in cities around the world, and we know that the transportation systems there are just not... They're not serving everybody's needs. I mean, even here in New York, with a great mass transit system, there's still two and a half million cars going over those bridges every day. And so we just believe we can help the city do better. I guess most, most successful entrepreneurs are not waiting for, it to come to them. for success and not waiting for progress. Um, we are generally a little bit um, forward-leaning when it comes to trying to make progress happen. Well, you become a mess, you become, I, I think, in love with the idea that, that you have been part of, you know, and, and you can't wait to push the edges of what that is. Well, I think what it is, and, is and, like, for me, it's about problem solving and loving to solve problems. And so if you are passionate about solving problems, I, and some, sometimes I just like to describe this as like, imagine a really great math professor with no problems to solve, yeah. right? The great, a great math professor is somebody who, who wants the hardest problems, who wants to solve them and loves solving them. That's kind of how I feel about my work. And so it's not about a man in a hurry. It's more about really interesting problems in the world and how do you lean into them and solve things that people maybe thought weren't even possible to solve. And that's mm -hmm. fun. Uh, boy, in seven years, a $65 billion company changing transportation, mm -hmm. changing uh, around the world. The China, most, he's the second biggest company of its kind in China. Wow, yeah. they say some, sometimes the most successful American tech company Absolutely. in China. Yeah. 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 With all kinds of possibilities, uh, and he's a hard-driving guy. Yeah. More with Travis tonight, as well as Brian Chesky of Airbnb. That's tonight on my PBS program.